Show me, matey. You want to be disguising your unity and make it look like KDE, do you? What's the matter? You don't like Ubuntu the way it is? You gotta go changing stuff around? All right, I'll show you how to do it after they roll this stupid intro. And that is as close as it gets for me to dress up for Halloween. So before you guys go critiquing my acting, I never said I could act. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and install uh, KDE. Uh, I've had two people that said they really want to see this, and I'm going to show you how to get this working. All right, first, let's go ahead and open up our terminal here, and we're going to issue a command. We're going to say sudo apt hyphen get install kubuntu hyphen desktop it's going to ask for the password all right and then it's going through building dependency trees and all this stuff and it's going to want to download a generous 675 megabytes of Data. Do you want to continue? Of course you do. All right. And of course, this is going to download really quick because I'm going to compress the time a little bit. Now, a manager is a program that provides graphical login capabilities for the XWIN system. One display manager can manage a given X server where multiple display packages are installed. Please display. To display which one you should run by default. Okay, we'll press enter. I am going to select KDM and press enter. Okay, and it's pre configuring the packages now. And we'll let this go ahead and finish installing. Okay, now we're done. Now the proof's in the pudding. Let's see if this works. Let's go ahead and get out of here. We're going to log out. And then next we'll press this little gear here. And we will select KDE Plasma Workspace. And then let's type in our password. This may take a moment to load up because uh, first time running this. Looking nice so far. And there you have it. We have a nice little KDE desktop here. Looks like it's uh, loading up something here. Give it a moment more. Ah, I see the hard drive's flashing, so it's still thinking there. And once this is done, we'll see some things we can interact with. Okay. Alright. Looks like we're done. And KDE appears to be working for me. Okay, it looks like we've got some software updates and everything that needs to be installed. But as you can see, I was able to install KDE over the Ubuntu 11.10. Well, actually, we installed Kubuntu desktop, but it's the same thing. We've got KDE running right here. Uh, so that's it for this portion of the tutorial. If you uh, have any questions, please uh, write them down in the space below. Also, uh, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Catch me on Facebook and Twitter. 
Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.